All right, all right. L D W M M A C. It is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, I'm hoping that my laptop battery does not uh, die on me because, guys, I'm trying to make these videos in between sessions and I didn't want to do these fight videos by phone because by phone the quality is just not that great. So, yeah, I'm out here trying to do these in between training sessions before their break is over and I got to get back at it. So, let's talk about this fight, guys. Liana Jojua versus Sarah Morris. Man, or Jojua. Liana Jojua. Okay, I got it right. Okay, versus Sarah Morris. This was a make or bake fight for uh, Cheesecake. Uh, cheesecake was fighting for her strawberry cheesecake life. Guys, that's just what it is, okay? Um, we all know what it is. If Cheesecake lost this fight, Cheesecake, she was out. Okay, she probably will go work in the Cheesecake factory. I mean, who knows? But, uh, and this was the coming out party of Liana Jojoa, okay? This is the coming out party. And here go the thing, man. Here go the thing, okay? Uh, you know, she's heavily touted. You know, she's very popular. She's got a huge following on uh, Instagram. So, you know, people were banking off that. And Liana was also, you know, she was uh, poking fun at Sarah Morris saying, hey, I like cheesecake for breakfast. You know, she was being all cute. And I said, you know, this girl, you know, she sure does like to pose in a lot of these photographs. And I said, okay, you know, yeah, you know, she's showing, you know, how attractive she is. Okay, no problem with that. But, Liana, somebody didn't tell her that this was the UFC. And unfortunately, being cute, that don't win you fights. Just ask Paige Van Zandt. Listen, man, I'm real big on Liana Jojua. Okay, I'm big on her. And I think that this kid could be very good. I think she can. The way that she approached this fight, I was very disappointed. I was extremely disappointed. You know, she acted as if she didn't even want to be there. She, she was like real nervous. She couldn't pull the trigger. She didn't let her hands go. She completely let Sarah Morris dictate this fight. I mean, Sarah beat her in every phase of the game. Sarah beat her during the striking matchup. You know, Sarah beat her on the ground. And Liana had some decent takedowns, but she couldn't keep the position. Sarah Morris did a great job of actually scrambling and reversing the takedowns. She did a good job. You know, at one point in round two, you know, I saw Liana do some ground and pound on Sarah. And then Sarah reached up and grabbed her arm and, you know, began to initiate an arm bar submission. Okay, the arm bar wasn't wrapped in deep enough, but Liana, you know, she kind of started thinking where the threat's there. It's almost like when Sarah Morris pushed her up against the cage, it's like she just thought, okay, that's it. You know, I'm not stronger than this girl. That's it. I can't do anything. You know, none of her striking prowess came out. Like, you got outstruck by Sarah Morris, y'all. And I got to tell y'all the raw truth. I got to tell If I don't tell y'all the raw truth, then I'm not telling you the raw truth. I don't care who gets triggered, man. This girl, Liana Jojua, I was not impressed. I know she can do a lot better. I know she can do much, much better. I just wasn't impressed in, in this fight, y'all. I wasn't. I mean, yep. You know, she got the look. You know, she got the look. She got the skill set. She just didn't have it on this night. Sarah Morris dominated this girl. And not only did Sarah Morris dominate her, Sarah took this girl's soul and beat it out of her. Okay, Sarah took this girl's heart and beat it out of her. Okay, Sarah just did what she wanted to do in this fight. And folks, that's just what it is. I'm a fan of Liana Jojua. I, I am a huge, huge fan. Okay, when I, when I figured out that this fight was getting announced, I said, okay, okay, this a come up fight. She can beat Sarah Morris. Sarah Morris is beatable. She's very beatable. In this case, though, I don't know if Sarah Morris seemed very beatable to Liana. I don't know. Sarah Morris beat her down by ground and pound, man. Sarah Morris gave us some heavy ground and pound. And I'm telling my that ground and pound was heavy in round three. And Sarah was just letting elbows rain. She was throwing strikes down. And, you know, y'all you, know you see that look when somebody new come to the UFC from another organization y'all know what look I'm talking about don't you you know the look that look in the eyes like oh PG-13 channel I'm in the UFC oh it's levels to this oh I'm getting my sorry I'm getting my PG-13 channel whooped I'm getting my PG-13 channel whooped up in here then they look to their corner help 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 the corner can't help you 
because you're getting beat up. There's levels to this. She poked fun at Sarah Morris all week, and Sarah Morris ignored it. Okay? Sarah Morris ignored it and just stayed focused. And, you know, when I see somebody poking fun at somebody excessively, you know, I start thinking, you know what? I don't think they believe they can win this fight. And I start telling, I was like, yo, I don't know. I like this. I like this Joshua girl, but I, I, I don't think she can mess with Morris. I was telling people that. Okay, I was telling people, I, I don't know. I don't think she's going to do it, you know? Talking to another guy that worked with me that watched women's MMA. You know, he followed me too because of women's MMA. He was like, no, man, no, man, this Leona girl going to win. I said, man, she, she ain't going to win. And, you know, she poking too much fun. She doing too much social media stuff. I said, this girl finna lose to Morris. So, Morris is a veteran, even though she, you know, yeah, she five and six, okay, or was five and six. Yeah, that don't mean nothing. She done been in some tough fights. She done been in battle. She done got beat up by some of the best in the world. And I don't know if getting beat up by some of the best in the world is, is like some kind of title that you want to, a title that you want to be like, oh, you proud of. But she have. Sarah Cheesecake Morris has been beat up by some of the best people in the world. And when you don't took that many amount of ass whoopings, sorry, sorry. When you've taken that many amount of PG-13 channel whoopings, you know a little thing or two about beating people that's not on your level. Okay? I'm not saying Liana Jojua is not on Sarah Morris level. She is. She could be Sarah Morris. But she has to believe that she can. And that is just the way that is. Keep your head up, Liana. Keep your head up. It gets better. Okay? Sabina Mazo lost her first UFC win, her first UFC fight, and Sabina Mazo came back with a fury. Oh, and by the way, Sabina Mazo is coming soon. I'm done. This is the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.